Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to 256 Garage Saturday Review. This is Jason. I'm going to give you a walk around what we got going on, uh, what's coming up. So let's get started. We're going to start right here with the Mercury. A little Mercury. Finally got it up here and washed it off a little bit. Hopefully, the inspector will be here Monday or Tuesday and get it inspected. That way, we can get the title on it and put it up for sale. We got it up here and rinsed it off just a little bit, getting it ready for him. So hopefully he'll be here Monday or Tuesday and we can get this baby on the market. Got this little Dodge Charger over here. Bumper cover, fender, headlight, not a whole lot of damage to it. Just a little bit there, be too bad. Get started on it next week, get it fixed up. The King Cobra, yeah, old King Cobra. We got the transmission swapped out, got the throw out bearing stuff put in it, drove it down the road, nice car. Like I said, it's been sitting two years that we know of, fired it right up, needs a little needs a little tuning because like I said, it's been sitting several years, so you can imagine it don't run just perfect, but I mean, it crunk up, ran good, went down the road, so maybe we can get her tuned up and get where we can drive it a little bit more. Uh, Hard to say, you don't know if Drake's gonna really drive it much or just gonna put it up for sale. Probably just depends on what happens. He won't be not trying to sell it, but he might not be trying to push it to sell it. But if somebody comes up, I guarantee you he'll sell it. Got the little, uh, what is this, Infinity, I guess you call it. It's got a little couple spots on the wheel trim, one on the front, one on the back. Got them in prime. They're ready to get in the paint booth big van got the top work fixed got it in prime got the back quarter here primed so we'll be ready to get it in the paint shop first of the week i don't know if it's lined up for monday or what but that's gonna be an interesting one for michael to paint right there because that is every bit let's see i know i'm six three and you can see where i'm reaching with my arm extended in the hat so he's definitely gonna have to get up on a ladder and paint it and it's gonna be hard to do even coats on the ladder so we'll have to figure out something there where he can like a what do you call them things walk board he can just walk down it paint it because it's up there but anyway and it won't even fit in the paint booth so we'll have to do something different there probably get it in a big shop because it won't even go in the prep area but anyway we'll get her figured out and get it done <laughs> walk over this way got a little escape here not sure let's see i think a deer I think it found a deer or a deer found it. Yeah. Headlight, fender, hood, windshield, door, mirror, door glass. But it looks kind of like the deer hit the front of it and come up and landed on the windshield. As you can see, it busted that windshield real good. But anyway, it's a nice little car. So it hard to say I, I don't i don't think the insurance company will total it i believe they'll uh fix it like i said door fender hood headlight windshield side door or side glass and then we got the little dodge over here it's hit on about every little corner showed you a little bit about it last week uh hadn't got started on it yet but it, it's got beds beat up doors are beat up fenders beat up it's got a little spot everywhere around pretty much on it let's go over this way right quick Got the little Honda Civic the Copart build. For Tidwell Auto Rebuilders, got it on the frame machine. Got it tore down. Uh, got to get it pulled out, started on a little bit. Thursday evening, I think it was. This apron right here has got to come out a little bit. The rails are nice, rails are good and straight. Uh, AC line and the alternator pulley got a little bent. But we'll get them changed out. Needs the AC line right there too and the condenser. The little part right down there needs pulled down so everything fits nice but it's coming along real well i already got the fender and the bumper cover and i'm pretty sure alan said he ordered two brand new headlights for it so hopefully they'll be in when we start getting everything lined up and fixed back in place let's walk in the shop yeah got this little toyota bumper cover on it getting it worked, getting it ready. 
Should have it worked out in, in prime probably Monday. Unless he works on a little bit today. Got the PT Cruz PT Cruiser. Uh I think she hit the ditch with. Trying to avoid another accident. Got the tire put on it replaced. Got the oil pan sealed up. So we'll get it. Get it down, fill it up with oil, make sure everything's gonna be good with it, make sure it still runs good, make sure it didn't do no damage to the motor. Cause you never know when one runs for a little bit. When you don't know how long it runs with a hole in the oil pan, you just wanna be sure. But anyway, got it up on the lift. Right here, got the other fender for the F100. Don't know where I got it covered up right now so no dust and stuff will get inside the cab. But we got the fender over here starting to get it worked out. Got the filler across the top, gonna get it blocked. Got the rest of it stripped down. This fender should be in prime pretty soon. And then we'll have both fenders in prime. Got the Camaro in prime. Quarter panels and roof on it's prime. I uh, think both doors are prime. The hood's still blocking on the hood back there. But it's coming along real nice. We'll block it again, and then we can put another coat of primer on it, get it blocked down for ready for paint. Let's walk over here and show you this part. All right, the red F250 that we replaced the cab corner on, painting it black, because all our parts are black. We got the cab painted. Right here is the cab corner we replaced. We replaced from about here down, I believe it was, to right here, and then we replaced it with this cap off the black truck. But you can see it's jammed out real nice. Everything's going black on it. Got the roof black. Boy, it is slick too. Really gonna have to shine them parts up to make them match this right here. You remember this was a red truck and we're turning it black. So even when you pull off, somebody pulls off the rubber, it's still gonna, it's gonna be black behind it. We didn't just kinda, didn't halfway do it, we turned it black right. So anyway, it's coming out real nice. I'll show you the bed and the parts for it. It is hot out here today. It's gonna be like 92, 93, something like that, I think. It's getting close now. And right here is the door for the big van, got it in prime. But there is the bed for the F-250. Like I said, it's off a Harley Davidson truck. We'll have to clean it up real nice to get it to fit on there and look good. And here's the rest of the parts. Right there's the hood, the front end, headlights, uh, doors. We're taking these doors, this front end, and that bed off this Harley truck and putting on the 90, 99, 01, I believe it is, F-250. So it's 01 F-250. And we're putting these 06, I think they are. This right here was a repo truck with a bad motor. Uh, real nice in size, but unfortunately, we can't use the insides for the red truck. But boy, those would be nice in there. But anyway, we got the outside parts. That's what matters. That has got a pretty nice inside. Not as nice as the Harley, but it's nice. So anyway, that's what we got going on. That's what's happening here this week. It's 256 Garage and what's coming up next week. Hope everyone has a good week. Everybody get out and about today. Enjoy. Stay cool. Stay hydrated because it's going to be hot. 256 Garage out.